She is an attractive maiden, a mulatto of no more than fifteen years. Her large eyes, as black as ebony, so full of expression, foretell the kindness of her heart. This is how the amorous Scottish Dutch officer Stedman describes the slave girl Joanna, and he continues. Her hair, of nearly black brown colour, formed an infinite number of natural curls decorated with golden pins and flowers. Joanna, I am moved with the greatest possible admiration. John Gabriel Stedman was stationed in Suriname from 1772 to 1777. Upon his return to Europe, he wrote one of the most important books on plantation life in Suriname. The book was a bombshell. Never before had life in Suriname been described by an eyewitness in such a vivid and sometimes shocking manner. The lyrical descriptions of his love for Joanna and the menacing dramatic ending make the story all the more compelling. Joanna's feelings play an important role in the story as well. Joanna laughs, loves and cries. I am not ashamed to tell you that I find within myself a true feeling of tenderness for you, who have treated me with so much distinction above all others in my deplorable state. When the plantation where Joanna works goes bankrupt, and she is to be sold together with the home contents, Stedman wants to take her back to the Netherlands. He doesn't have the money to buy her freedom, but that's not his only obstacle. Joanna doesn't want to join him. He falls ill, gets a fever, and becomes delirious. She still doesn't want to come to the Netherlands, but she does want to be with him. They get married and have a son, Johnny. They are happy. But when the plantation is sold together with Joanna and Johnny, Stedman is plunged into great despair. Fortunately, the new owner, the widow Godfrey, is willing to arrange a settlement that will free Joanna and Johnny. But Joanna will have nothing of it. She wants to earn her own freedom. Johnny is freed, but Joanna remains firm. Stedman asks her one more time to go to the Netherlands with him. She bursts into tears and says she would only be a spectacle in the Netherlands, whereas she is somebody in Suriname. Stedman leaves. A few years later, Joanna dies. Their son Johnny joins Stedman and his new family in the Netherlands. <laughs> 